how big is Graham's number exactly? In the understanding of most people, the largest counting unit should be E, but in the world of mathematics, there exists a number known as Graham's number that is so enormous that it surpasses the entire universe. To illustrate just how terrifyingly large Graham's number is, let's compare it to numbers representing common objects in our lives. The current global population is approximately around 8 billion, the wealth of the world's richest person, Elon Musk, is $1.6 trillion, which is a value we rarely encounter in our daily lives. For example, there are roughly two sextillion ants on Earth, enough to encircle the Earth over 250 million times when lined up end to end. However, these numbers are completely insignificant compared to Graham's number. A Dutch designer named Daniel once created the world's largest gear reduction system, with each layer of gears having a 10 to 1 ratio. The first gear turns 1000 times, the second one turns 100 times, and so on. To make the last gear turn, the first gear would have to turn 10 to the power of 100 times, which is a 1 followed by 100 zeros, precisely the largest known number called Graham's number. This concept is mind-boggling. The total number of fundamental particles in the universe is roughly 10 to the power of 8, and if you were to fill the observable universe with sand, you'd have approximately 10 to the power of 95 grains of sand. In other words, all the matter in the entire universe combined cannot simultaneously drive 100 gears to turn. Nevertheless, Graham's number dwarfs even the Graham's number as the upper bound of an extraordinary problem in Ramsey theory in the history of mathematics. The problem is stated as follows, consider connecting the vertices of an n-dimensional hypercube, resulting in a complete graph with 2 to the power of n vertices. Then, color each edge of the graph either red or blue. What is the smallest n for which every coloring of the edges contains at least one monochromatic complete subgraph with four coplanar vertices? The minimum n value for this question is the infamous Graham's number. In other words, it's an immense natural number, not like the never-ending, non-repeating pi, but a number with an endpoint and conclusion. Currently, nobody knows the full value of Graham's number. For our human brains, it has already exceeded our capacity to comprehend it. Even if Einstein were here, he wouldn't be able to unravel it. Because once you unlock this numerical value and try to load it into our brains, its information content would surpass that of a black hole, causing the brain to collapse into a black hole, with numbers endlessly cycling within it. Although Graham's number may sound elusive, it is an indispensable presence in the field of mathematics. Its unresolvable, non-repeating decimal portion has sparked people's thinking about similar problems, and it is often used in describing the complex amplitudes and phases and wave functions. From physics to finance, from engineering to computer science, Graham's number has played a significant role in advancing human society.